So whenever you're ready, could you explain what you built and how it works? Um, sure. So we have a uh, persistence of vision display here, um, which um, spins uh, a strip of LEDs uh, that we have attached to a, a printed circuit board. Um, and um, we, we um, transmit it, um, data to, to the Pico that corresponds to the, an image um, in terms of rotations, like angles around the circle, and um, and the LED number of, of pixels and uh, color, and uh, then the uh, the Pico will change the LED colors as it goes around the circle in order to create the image that we send to it. Awesome. And to ensure that the um, rotation as well as the orientation of the image is exact, we're using a Hall effect sensor. So regardless of whatever image we send, um, the timing of the uh, LEDs changing color is ensured by that Hall sensor. So you have a, a magnet here. Uh, yeah, a magnet here and then the Hall effect is right there. So when this passes, we get an interrupt and we can calculate the period of rotation and Between. therefore uh, synchronize our LEDs. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, are you guys ready to demo that? Sure. Sure. Put together a series of pictures that show off what it can do. <laughs> okay. And I'll, I'll intersperse those pictures in right. because the camera's going to make this look weird probably. And, and we have a, a UI on a, my laptop that can send images and change them like on demand. Cool. So do you want to uh, send over one TCP. and then we can spin it up? Yeah, sure. the Cornell logo, um, like the Bear Cornell logo, and it says ECE 4760 at the bottom. That's amazing. As you can see, no matter what speed we set the motor to, it automatically will adjust and make sure it's perfectly aligned. Uh, right, so because you have the Hall effect sensor, you're measuring... Each time you period. So it's whatever speed the motor is, it'll phase lock to it. Yep. Right. Awesome. Um, okay, just try some other pictures. This is probably currently around like 50 frames per second, yeah. and for each revolution we're doing 122 different slices. Or, I'm sorry, we're doing 120 different slices. So that's a colorful face of a dog. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 Ooh, cool. And that's a picture of Bruce. <laughs> And you can also send, um, uh, we, we can also send multiple images like back to back and it kind of looks like a GIF. Okay. It's a little slow, but you can Yeah, see so this is like um, a flower blooming, so it starts from a bud and then you can see it grow over time. And the fun part about these displays are because there's nothing physically backing it at any one given time, you can actually see through yeah. it. So yeah. So there's a holographic yeah. effect as if the flower is, you know, floating in midair. Yeah. Gorgeous. <laughs> really nice. And I'm watching like the edges there and they really don't move at all. It's, it really is nicely phase locked. <laughs> and again, you can see like every, all the contents are fixed. Cool. Very nice. Yeah, even at pretty slow speeds, you can still see yeah, it. Yeah, you can still yeah. stay synchronized. Mm -hmm. Oh, the falls apart. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, can you talk a little bit just to, because there's so much infrastructure here? 
So could you talk first of all about how the communication works? You're communicating over Wi-Fi, is that yeah. right? Okay. Uh, yeah, we set up a TCP exchange um, where uh, we have a Python server. Um, we actually connect over my hotspot of my phone because um, that way we don't have to deal with the authentication of the uh, internet here. Um, and yeah, so, so then we send packets, each packet is, uh, we're doing is two rotation elements, so like two basically strips of LEDs. Okay. Um, and we send it as many, uh, for, this is 90 rotation, so we'd send 45 packets mm -hmm. over TCP. Um, and, um, and then we have an exchange on the, uh, on the Pico, which uh, basically just dumps it uh, into uh, an array, a three-dimensional array mm -hmm. for where you are in the circle, like what the mm -hmm. angle is, um, what um, what LED it is, and then RGB. So it's a three-dimensional array, yeah. and uh, and yeah. So the and then when that's done, then it can start just uh, outputting that those colors into the. Uh, so this is this is the Pico W that's receiving those <clears throat> that communication right. on a custom PCB, correct? Yes, I guess I can go over the hardware. Sure. This is kind of what I was involved with. Um, so we built two custom PCBs um, in KiCad. Got them ordered from China, delivered here. All of these LEDs are surface mounted, um, and then we have a control board that holds everything together. Uh, the reason we wanted to go for a PCB was that it allows this entire arm to be just one layer of PCB, which is kind of the minimum amount of weight you can manage to do, which is really important when you're rotating at speeds that are like, you know, above 1800 RPM. You really don't want a lot of weight there or it will put a lot of strain on the motor and can get kind of dangerous. Um, so doing it this way allowed us to keep the weight of the entire rotor extremely minimal. Um, to transfer power from here to here, obviously we can't have any wires because they would get tangled up in the right. rotation. So we decided to use an inductive power supply. Uh, we got a especially long range one. This one can go from, I believe, 20 millimeters up to like above 80 millimeters and transfers five volts at, you know, different current depending on how far away, but optimally at uh, two amps, which we don't even take full advantage of. Um, but that's really cool. So there's nothing connecting these two parts other than the motor shaft. So they're completely electrically isolated? Completely mm -hmm. isolated, nothing okay. in between there. Um, and then we have this Hall effect sensor, which we talked about a little bit in the past, but it gets triggered by the magnetic field here uh -huh. uh, and localizes us in space. Uh, back here is just a simple h bridge motor driver, which powers both the inductive coil and the motor um, off of a single 12 volt source. And that H bridge is run by another Pico. The second Pico. Right. And yep. And then all the mechanical elements were also custom designed and right. built, right? These were all 3D printed, uh, designed for this project in particular. Um, yeah. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Really, really nicely done. Thank you, guys. Of course. Thank you. Thank you.